How is everybody doing? This is a, a, an announcement to all of my subscribers, particularly those that gave me money to go to the Italy trip, which I ended up not going to, okay, because of the passport situation, as I have mentioned. Um, so now I will be going to Florida, but uh, and I'm getting on, on the plane tonight or tomorrow morning. But when I say tomorrow morning, I'm talking past midnight. It's almost three hours to get there. So I will. It's uh, West Palm Beach, okay. And I'll be flying to Delta. I'm gonna do an Instagram video. Um, I'm gonna be there for seven days, and I'm going to be in Boca Raton. I've yet to select the hotel. I believe there are two hotels in Boca Raton. I gotta figure out which one I'm gonna choose and which will do the conference when I get there. I haven't planned the conference because I had so much bad luck getting there. And then the conference in Italy, that I was, I'm at 5,000 euros on that. That was a disaster. A disaster. Then I'm in the hole for it. But for what you've given, I can use to pay some of that and also to pay for the conference set up when I get there uh, in Boca Raton. Okay? Uh, uh, the conference will be um, free of charge. And I also am offering a free class introduction to those of you who gave those donations for me to go to um, Southern Italy, which I didn't get to go. And I have read your names, and I'm going to read your names again today, tonight, so you'll know that you're going to get a free video, and you also get to call me through Instagram for a free reading. Uh, you choose a topic, and I will talk to you for 15 minutes on that topic. Make sure you choose it wisely. Okay, because I'm going to answer your questions. I will be uh, involving myself in mediumship, which is why I'm like my hair is like it's all. Uh, I mean, I did rituals. I mean, I was doing voodoo work today, because you know enough is enough. Enough is enough. Too much shit has been going on. You know, too much, too much drama, too much crisis, too much stuff. So I had to resort to what I know how to do best. And that's what you craft. Oh, don't worry. I'm being dramatic, a little melodramatic. Witchcraft is good and bad. Remember, evil is not about the craft that you do. Evil always lies at the heart of man. It's man's heart. It's man's intentions that's demonic. No tool that's made by man can hurt another man unless there's an intention behind it. Okay? But I had to manipulate nature. And ask permission because of witchcraft, if, if, if you do witchcraft correctly, voodoo, candomblé, loa, obia, I mean, I can call all the names of all the riches and cultures that, that means witchcraft. And it exists with the Jews, with the Christians, and with the Muslims. Okay? Don't let me talk. Don't let me talk. I respect the religions, but each religion has a magical, charismatic, magical, demonic side. I'm telling you, as a cultural anthropologist, I'm telling you. And if you don't believe me, talk to another cultural anthropologist. And if they tell you different, you let me know. And I will contact him or her. Okay? And that's for real. When I stand behind my work and behind my work, you all know that right now. So, I had to do things and ask permission. I had to ask permission of the gods to be able to manipulate nature, to bend her to my will. Not her, but her laws. And if you're among the favorite of the gods, they might wink a little and bend the rules a little bit for you. But, I, but I'm trying to do something good. And when you're trying to do something good for somebody and I'm not charging you, really? The devil's going to come at you hard. And he been he be swinging. He been swinging. Yo, he been swinging. Since that Italy trip, he been swinging. Swinging. I have to do something because it's a loss of credibility for me. So now this could be a test and people like us, like you, no one is exempt. We all are put in trial and on tests. 
It's all about if you can withstand the test. What do, why, what do I always say to you? 25% of life is what happens to you. 75% is how you respond. And how you respond will determine will you if you remain a human-like animal or transcend your animal state and become as God. That was the whole purpose of of, of Hercules and Perseus and Pegasus. That whole you know Hercules. You don't need to read mythology. Mythology really tells you the shit. So, so we're doing the conference there. I don't know exactly what it's going to be about, but it's not going to be the conference that I'm going to do in Detroit, which has to do with doing the birth chart, understanding the birth chart. A lot of people still don't understand the concept of the birth chart. And the thing is that I, when when you pay for a professional consultation of a birth chart, I give you the details, but it takes a lot of time. It's 36 hours of information. And I decided that this is not a good way to do it. This is not a good way to do it. I have to connect the birth chart, not to just astrology, but to other systems of beliefs and other systems of religions and other systems of magic that can also be familiar to the person mundanely. And I figured out the formula. So now, when you do go to my conference in Detroit, trust me, there is no way that you're going to see astrology as a work of charlatanism, a work of uh, soup sales. You're going to connect it to who you are, because once you realize that the seven planets in the zodiac and the twelve constellations are nothing but lower level extraterrestrials called archons who took part in creating us, that we are actual hybrids of a higher creation, which are still in themselves lesser gods than the higher Elohim, then you'll understand how you fit in the matrix. But that's something that cannot be discussed in a 25-minute video. So I have to do a conference and actually connect the esoteric with the occult and astrology. And trust me, and then I'm correlated to the Bible, our Western Bible and the Eastern Bibles and all the other Eastern philosophies to show you in your face how the ancients have known about this, the theologians and the heads of states, even government, understands these mysteries. It was an agenda to keep us in the dark about our own soul and the nature of our own souls. But now that we are in the Aquarian age, that's all changing. And now the truth is being revealed. All kinds of truths are being revealed. So in my conference, which is why it's important that you attend, and I'm going to be doing one on every city, but you're going to have to invite me to the city and pay the expenses for that. I'm doing that this time. Every with the ticket sales and all that, but you invite me to your cities and I will bring that to you. Because trust me, you will need to get a chart reading from me after that conference. You will understand and I will direct you how to research what you need to know to understand further the mysteries of all of your inner bodies. Because the key to understanding astrology and linking it together is connecting them to the spiritual aspects of our bodies. And this is just one physical aspect of our bodies. But there are six other bodies to man. And the church does not talk about this. No one talks about this. I am the astrologer that is beginning to talk about this. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go to my Instagram page, which is uh, Fernando E. Prudhomme. Don't go to my People's Astrologer um, Instagram page because I accidentally erased it from my Facebook uh, phone. My, my, not my Facebook phone, my iPhone. I have an IA. I have the best phone. But I've erased it. And for so many goddamn fucking security codes and, and passes and IDs, you know, I cannot figure it out. So I have to go to the downtown headquarters of New York City of iPhones and recalibrate the phone with a new password and ID. You know, this is just a fucking headache. So just go with my Fernando E. Prudhomme uh, Instagram account for now until Mrs. Green and I um, recalibrate the phone and get my old account back in order again. So I thank you for that. And you get to ask me any questions that you want. Again, so all of you have 15 minutes to ask me specific questions about your lives that I will answer in gross detail because you've given money for me to go to the Italy conference trip, which was a bus. So right now, I'm going to read the names of these people and only these people that will be getting that compensation. 
Hold on. Hold on. Because now, you know, something funny took place here. Always happens. But, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, I'm opening my PayPal account. Okay, I'll be flying to Delta, guys. Uh, I'll be in Boca Raton, like around maybe 2 or 3 in the morning. You know, depending on where my flight leaves, because you know, and it's raining in New York City, and it's pouring in LaGuardia and and, and and JFK. So of course, that's already delays. You know, this is this is my Saturn in the third house. It's it, 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 it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Okay, here are the people who are going to uh, receive the 15-minute free consultation through my Instagram. Fernando E. Prudhomme, okay? And that is uh, Annalisa Heller, Abdallah Jabara, Michael Cameron, Bono, no, um, mm -hmm. Natalia Thompson McClinton. Yeah, yeah, for some reason I miss that chorus. Oh no. Like, Come on. Okay. Right mixes. Hmm. Anybody was here too. You know, you know, there's something, something is you know, it acts up. This is my Saturn guy. Saturn, 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 Saturn. Uh Junior Priso. Right? Ebella Arizi, Keandra Hammonds, Sarah and Puma, April Wilson, Hannah Lozau, Tiara Williams, Serene Jensen, Andrea, Andrea Beasley. Latrice Martin, Tisha Bunch, Katherine Hodges, Diva Hall, Akita Leonard, Danny Figueroa, Talithia Cosby, James Anderson, Christina Neske, Mona Frisk, Philip Freed, Bessie Sarantini, Natalia Zanko, Angie Williams, Christina McKeon, Brandy Martin, Ibn Ibrahim, Alicia Davis, Courtney Brumaire, Leah Terchaya, Katie, Teresa Alejo, a Southern Trial Music Group, Armandas Walker, Jacqueline Lopez, Adrienne Bamford, Allison Collier, Sylvia Soddy and Tanil Paxton Vaughn. Oh, and Quinn Watson. Thank you guys. I need you guys to email me your email addresses to download your videos and also tune into my Instagram friend the Epudom for your free readings. Okay. Please uh, my uh, email address is Fernando Prudom at Yahoo.com. If you go to my Instagram page. It is in the description box, my, my email address. I have a Gmail and, an, and a Yahoo. Go to my Yahoo. Fernando Prudhomme. If you don't know my last name, it's spelled on my, on my, um, on my page, on my homepage, on YouTube, and also on my website. Fernando Prudhomme at Yahoo.com. Mail me your email so I can then have Mrs. Green in 30 days send you your videos, okay? In the meantime, you uh, text me, you uh, know, Call me through Instagram, Fernando E. Prudhomme. That's the account, not the People's Astrologer. So that I can do your readings for you while I'm in the state of Florida. Guys, thank you so much. This was the public announcement I had to make. Bye.